beyond dance to dream i like to inspire and motivate adults to dream again because as we go through life and take on our different roles and responsibilities we tend to put our dreams on the back burner and my goal here at dawn dance to dream is to help you pick those dreams back up and to pursue them again now i i want you to understand i started dawn dance to dream because I wanted to relay my message and my heart and my feelings across to whomever would listen. It can be difficult getting your closest family and friends to understand the way that you believe and when you try to express it and share it. So this was like my backdoor way into <laughs> letting everybody know. Now I may have lost some viewers as a result of that because they don't agree and that's fine. I am definitely a proponent of everyone having their own thoughts, their own process, their own mindset that works for them. Your religion works for you, you keep that. No one's telling you to get rid of that. Whatever it is that works for you, continue to use it. I'm just saying that sprinkle some of this other information on it, this personal development information that I'm providing you and see where your life takes you and how you take off personally. But always remember, we are in control of how we see our environment. I don't care what everyone says it looks like or everyone says it is, we are in control of how we choose to perceive the environment. Hey dreamers, welcome back. And thank you to all the new dreamers who stopped by Dawn Dares to Dream today to see what we're all about. Well, we are on What Does Success Mean to Me? That's our current series that we're on. And I know I think I promised in the last video to show you how you can prepare for success. The way that I'm going to do that is we're going to go back and we're going to re review the universal laws. And I am going to point out how you can use the law to help you to prepare for success or even to be successful. Before we get into that juicy topic today, I want you to remember that I do have the YouTube promo going on right now. So if you have not subscribed to my channel, there's a red button down here that says subscribe. If you click on that red button, you will be subscribed. I need you to take a screen capture of that and shoot it to me, email it to me, message me on social media, Instagram or Facebook, however you choose. Now, my email address is dawndancedream at gmail.com. It's also in the description for this video, so you can go back and look for it. So you email me that screen capture and then there is a link called shop down there. When, click on that link. That's going to show you the four different um, workbooks that I have available right now. You can look through the descriptions for each of those workbooks and tell me which one you want via email or um, social media messaging. And then I will send that right out to you for subscribing. That will be my way of saying thank you so much for supporting me here on the YouTube platform. The first law we're going to um, highlight is the law of oneness. Now with the law of oneness, you know, everything is connected, right? So think about that. If everything is connected, you are already connected to your success. And since you're already connected to your success, you already have it. You just have to adjust your focus to see it. The next law we're going to focus on or highlight is the law of energy and vibration. Energy equals our feelings and vibration equals our thoughts. So as far as success is concerned, every time that you think about success, I need you to feel good about it. So I need you to tap into what you think or feel being successful will look like at the end, because that is where you're going to find that joy. That is where you're going to find that happiness. That is where you're going to find that peace. Don't focus on the process of becoming successful. I just want you to think about what it, what it would look like for you to be successful. And once you have that picture in your mind, then you think about, yes, I'm successful. I have my success. And you need to hold on to that feeling, that energy, that vibration each and every single day. The next law that we're going to talk about is action. In order to be successful, you have to take action. So what I need you to do, and I think I've talked about this in a couple of the other videos, is think about the incremental steps that you can take each day that are going to help you in the future be successful. Without action, we have nothing. 
Now we're going to move on to a real good juicy law, the law of correspondence. With the law of correspondence, it just means that our reality is a reflection of what's going on in our mind, what it is that we believe in our heart. That's what our reality is. So if you are trying to be successful, then that means you don't believe that you're successful. And that's what you see. What I need you to do is change that thought, change that paradigm. Write affirmations about having the success now using I am statements. So that's going to help to change your mind and change your beliefs about you and the amount of success that you have in your life right now, because you do have some success in your life right now. So if you focus on the things that you have overcome, the successes or the small wins that you have had in life to get you where you are today, that is success. So change your mind about success so that your Reality that you're thinking in your mind is reflected out, but it's a successful reality. I really love this law, the law of cause and effect. So if we want something to happen, we have to cause it and then we will receive an effect, right? Cause and effect. So think about this. You have control over your life. I know you may not feel like it. You may not think you do, but you really do. You have control over your life. So what you have to do is change your thoughts about what success is because that's the cause and know that you're already successful and the effect will be that you will begin to see your success. Your success will be revealed to you. Your perception of what success is will change. We may not like this law too much. This is the law of compensation and it basically states that in order to gain something, we must lose something. And I have said this, I think several times in the previous videos, what are you willing to sacrifice for your success? You know, in the example that I gave you and me having the career that I have, I had to work two jobs at one point. Another point, I had to work one job while I studied to get the certifications that I needed. I had to pay for the certifications. They didn't, they weren't free. So there were some things that I had to do. I had to lose some money to gain my certification. Do you understand? So what you lose doesn't have to be a negative thing, but what are you willing to lose? What are you willing to sacrifice? for the law of compensation so that you can have the success that you desire. Of course, we all know about the law of attraction and basically it's a very simple law. We attract what we are. So if you don't believe you're successful right now, how are you gonna attract success? Do you understand? Because we attract who and what we are. So you have to change your mindset and start believing that you are already successful right now. Today, you are successful. Now this one is a doozy. It's the law of relativity. It's saying that we see the world around us relative to the experiences that we have had in our life. So if you believe that you are unsuccessful, you believe that the path you've taken, the things you've done, what you've gone through has caused you to be unsuccessful. And I need you to change that paradigm that you're running over and over again in your mind. And that paradigm needs to show you how each thing that you've been through, whether you view it as good or bad, because remember, there is no good or bad. There really isn't positive or negative. There is just is. Everything just is. Do you understand? So those things happen to you. Okay, fine. It's in the past. But you need to have a positive spin on it in your mind. You need to believe in your mind, in your heart, that those things that you have gone through have made you who you are today. And the person who you are today is a success because you survived <laughs> your past to get to where you are today, to even have a dr dream or a thought about changing your life to be more successful. And then you have to go back and do those I am statements and cause yourself to be successful. Be the cause. Say, I am successful. Every day, look in the mirror. I am successful. I have everything that I want and need. You know, I live in abundance. Abundance is all around me. I am abundant. You know, different little things like that. Say those things and pump up in your mind who you are so that you can see the success because it's all around us. I was successful waiting tables for 10 years because I was taking care of myself. No one was supporting me. You, you get where I'm coming from? That's success. I wasn't homeless on the street. I had a whole apartment I lived in. But the point I'm making is I was so successful that I could pay my bills, feed an, an animal, and still live and survive and be okay and enjoy life and go out and club with my friends. Because remember, this was in my 20s. I was living it up. I felt very successful. See, even though to you right now, you're thinking about your life and your past and maybe even your current situation, and you don't see the success, but success is all around you. Now we have approached the law of polarity. And so the law of polarity basically is just saying that there's an opposite, you know? And so 
if there is a situation that you may consider to be a problem, then that means the solution also exists. The opposite exists. Do you understand? So if you feel like you're unsuccessful right now, the opposite also exists that you are successful. You just have to tap into that. And the first place to tap into that is with your mindset and how you believe. Now we've approached the law of rhythm. The law of rhythm just says there is a rhythm to life. Life has a cycle, I'm going to say, that it, it goes on and that we are working with. And always know that no matter where you are in the cycle, if you're up, then you're probably going to come down eventually. But if you're low, you're probably going to come up. So always know that there's a cycle going on. There's a rhythm to life. And what you need to do is hold on in your mind to the positive experiences, to your positive thoughts while you're going through this rhythm because you can help speed it up or you can slow it down. And that's all relative because what happens is in your mind, it seems like you're struggling and it's taking so long to get to the success that you desire. But if you focused on how long it takes you to get to the success, that's all you're ever going to have the time that it takes you to get to the success. How about focus on the wins that you get each and every day? And that is going to speed up <laughs> the success, how it comes to you. And then last we have um, the law of gender. And it's basically just saying it takes both male and female to make life work. It takes both um, what we may think of as good or bad or negative and positive for life to go around, for that cycle to happen, for the rhythm to happen. And just know that no matter where you are, whatever point you are in your life, that the cycle can change. But if you want the cycle to change faster, that's all about your attitude. It's all about the energy and vibration that you're putting out. It's all about what you're believing is possible. It's all about what you're focused on. Now, I just really ran through the laws and gave you a little uh, key to each, right, for success. In order to really wrap your mind around them, you're going to need to go back and actually watch the Universal Laws series. I have a workbook that I'm currently working on um, right now. Should be done, I guess, in a couple of weeks, maybe. Um, I've been so busy uh, making sure I have content for my YouTube channel. I haven't taken the time to finish writing the Universal Laws because I went on vacation <laughs> right when I ended that particular series. But I'm going to get that ready for you. So what I need you to do, if you want that, um, message me so that I can put you on the waiting list for the actual workbook. But in the meantime, you can go back and watch those videos. They're going to be key in helping you to transition into having a successful mindset because you have to feed your mind the things that it needs so that you can change or become the person that you need to be so that you can see your success. Now, if you like this video, give me thumbs up. Also remember that there is a comment button down there. So leave me any questions that you may have. There's a share button with an arrow also. Share this um, video to your social media platforms like Facebook. And I'm going to have two playlists over here. I'm going to have the Universal Law. So you can click right on that and you can go and start reviewing that. And I'm going to have the playlist for this series as well. What does it mean? What does success mean to you? So that way, if you've missed any videos, you can go back and review them because this is a very juicy series because this is where I'm marrying the concepts of universal laws with how do we practically use them. So it's important for you to, to have a high level understanding of universal laws and then come back to the series so that you can put the two together. And that's what's really going to propel you forward with your success mindset. On this side, I'm going to have my face. So if you have not subscribed to my channel, you can click on my face, select the gray bell, select all. And that way you'll be subscribed to my channel and you'll be notified to all the new content that I place appear to YouTube. So I had a great time talking to my dreamers today, and I hope I was able to clarify how you can prepare for your success because <laughs> it's all about our mindset. Have a great day, dreamers.